Hello, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will show you everything you need to know about Hatch in Revit. So in order to Hatch anything in Revit you use the Hatch command and shortcut for that is easy, it's just H and enter. And now you are in the Hatch command you can see you have this Hatch creation tab over here and you have a bunch of settings. So first let's just place one Hatch, you need to place it over a certain surface. I'm just going to use this and now we can see it and we can see our adjustments. First I'll open up this pattern drop menu and I'll just find some, you, you see you can, you have a lot of stuff. I'm just going to find a concrete hatch, this is basically that. Now the next thing you need to set up the scale. So I think around 60 for this particular drawing is adequate yeah that's about right and he here you have angles now if you had it works now when it's zero but if you want to change it you can come here and see you can basically rotate your hatch I'm just gonna leave it at zero and you can add some hatch transparency this is well doesn't look so good right now but if you basically had a solid hatch it might be useful but I'm just going to leave it at this and I'm going to put the transparency back to zero. Now I'm going to add more hatch, so I'm going to place it here, here, place it here, as well as here. And now you see I had this error message, I did this on purpose. I'm just going to close it. When you try to hatch a surface that you can't see, you can't really see the whole surface, you can see it goes over all the way over here, but if I hatch just this part it doesn't work so I need to see the whole surface and now when I hatch it works it, sometimes it will work when you're zoomed in but I suggest you use this method all the time okay now I'm finished with this hatch I can just hit escape to stop the hatch command now we can select this hatch and we can change perhaps the color but I usually like to leave it at by layer so the hatch color will be the same as the layer color. Now we have this associative basically button over here and if you want to change the hatch without having to basically create a new outline for it you can click here and it will add these grip points so maybe I don't want hatch in this place so I'll just move this grip point over here and see there is no more hatch there or maybe I'll move this one halfway down you can see you can edit your hatch basically with that I can move this around maybe place it there here so you can play around if you don't really want the hatch filling up the whole space you're using but I don't really see the point of that Okay, that's pretty much all you need to know to use hatches in Revit. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, leave a comment and like this video, and have a nice day.